Here's your daily sports rush from Sports Not for September 20th, 2024. Welcome back to the Daily Sports Rush from Sports Not. I'm Chrissy Freud, and week four is officially upon us, and we've got several good games to get into, so let's get started. Number 11, USC, taking on number 18, Michigan, is one to watch as the Wolverines continue to have trouble replacing star quarterback J.J. McCarthy. USC, on the other hand, not having nearly the same type of problem, as Miller Moss showed us just how much of a dark horse he truly is against LSU, and he's only kept it rolling since then. How well the defensive front for the Trojans can hold, and if Michigan can keep the USC receivers under control, will tell the outcome. And don't forget about the number 12 Utah Utes traveling to face the number 14 Oklahoma State Cowboys. Utah quarterback Cam Rising coming off of an injury to his throwing hand, and it's not clear entirely how that's going to affect him, but it could cause some issues in how well Utah is able to get its pass game going. And one of the biggest things for the Utes to watch out for is going to be the battle against Oklahoma State running back Ollie Gordon, who opposing defenses have had absolutely no answer for. Number six, Tennessee, taking on number 15, Oklahoma, as Nico Iamaliava has been on fire and will look to continue his hot streak against higher level competition. And this is a good Oklahoma team, but it looked a little bit suspect when it nearly got beaten by Houston, one of the worst teams in its conference not that long ago. Tennessee should win by a couple of scores, but a lot of this is going to come down to quarterback play and work in the trenches. Oklahoma has an, a sturdy offensive line, and Tennessee's defensive line has impressed more than expected, so plenty to look at there. Well, these games will certainly have me locked in this week, in addition to several others and what's going to be a really interesting one. So as always, for more college football coverage, be sure to follow along with us at sportsnot.com.